Hydra was founded on the belief that humanity could not be trusted with its own freedom. What we did not realize was that if you try to take that freedom, they resist. The war taught us much. Humanity needed to surrender its freedom willingly. For 70 years, Hydra has been secretly feeding crisis, reaping war. And when history did not cooperate, history was changed. Hydra created a world so chaotic that humanity is finally ready to sacrifice its freedom to gain its security. Once the purification process is complete, Hydra's new world order will arise. You don't have free will, David. You have the appearance of free will. You expect me to believe that? I make decisions every day. You have free will over which toothpaste you use or which beverage to order at lunch, but humanity just isn't mature enough to control the important things. So you handle the important things. Well, the last time I checked, the world's a pretty screwed up place. It's still here. If we'd left things in your hands, it wouldn't be. This planet is dying. The human race is killing it. So you've come here to help us? No, I didn't. You said you came to save us. I said I came to save the Earth. You came to save the Earth? From us. You came to save the Earth from us. We can't risk the survival of this planet for the sake of one species. What are you saying? If the Earth dies, you die. If you die, the Earth survives. There are only a handful of planets in the cosmos that are capable of supporting complex life. You can't do this. This one can't be allowed to perish. Our population has grown out of control. Our environment is in decay. Our resources have been depleted. Wars have ravaged our planet. We are fighting over the scraps of what remains. In 10 years, half the planet will be uninhabitable. In 15 years, half the world's population will have starved to death. Time is running out. We've outgrown our home. Our children will witness the end of days. We've now passed seven billion on this planet. When I was born, it was a little over two. Food prices are rising, oil is ending. When our resources end in 20 years, given everything that we know of our species, do you really think we're going to just share? So your answer to that is some kind of genocide? No, it is not. It is not genocide. Our answer to this is Janus. Janus consists of a protein and an amino acid. Independently of each other, they're harmless. But when they're brought together in the subject, they act as a genetic trigger that prevents chromosomal division. The cell targeted can no longer replicate itself and is thereby rendered useless. The change is permanent and hereditary. And which cells are targeted? Those that control fertility, Becky. The purpose of Janus is to sterilize. The purpose of Janus is to sterilize the entire human race. Humanity's savage nature will inevitably lead to global annihilation. So in order to save this planet, I had to trick it the greatest practical joke in human history. Killing millions. To save billions, a necessary crime. Everything they've built will fall and from the ashes of their world will build a better one. was chosen to host the Celestial Tiamat. In order 
to grow, Tiamat needs vast amounts of energy from intelligent life. The Deviants prevented this by consuming humans until the Eternals eliminated them. Now, the human population of this planet has reached the required amount. It is time for the emergence to begin. Give someone wings and they may fly too close to the sun. Give them the power of prophecy and they may live in fear of the future. Give them the greatest gifts of all, powers beyond imagination, and they may think they are meant to rule the world. <laughs>